Hey everyone, it's Will Gamer Dad with another video for you. So of course, 2.7.9 has now dropped. Again, if you didn't watch my first Manifest Fight video, uh, make sure you just hard reset and load up the game and it should load up the in-game update as opposed to going to the App Store. That being said, now that we have the newest update, in tonight's episode of Should You Summon, we can talk about uh, Ally Encounter Melody, uh, the Fateful, as well as the uh, free slash non-free or paid stones. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And I also do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me this way. All right. So let's bring up the one time only Fateful Encounter first. And as usual, um, it is featuring Melody, 0.4% chance on the 4 or 4.5%. Uh, 0.8% chance on the 5 star, and keep in mind on the very 10th encounter is 10% chance. And just a reminder, on pulls 1 to 9, you still have the uprated 1.2% combined of each form. Of course, with all paid encounters, you do have the same access to all the other units that are available up to now, including AS Thilili there as well, AS Tiramis, and all the other ones from before, uh, some notable ones, AS Rosetta, so on and so forth. And unfortunately, as usual, there is the three and a halfs, Rainbow Sisters, Bot, and Knights. Now, in terms of the regular banner, we can take a look here. So this one is actually shared with our manifest fight, which is AS Iska. Note that the AS form Starlight version is uprated to 0.8%. So this is a shared banner with Melody. Uh, however, the four and a half version of Iska will not be upgraded. So you actually just have a straight 0.8% of getting Iska in the AS form, and of course, very low chance of the four and a half or the normal style. Uh, in terms of melody, same as the Fateful, 0 0.4, 0 0.8, and of course, upgraded um, you know, on the four and a half, not on the tenth pull, being that on the tenth pull, you guarantee a four or better. Note that this one does not have the Lily. And it does not have AS Tiramisu. Most uh, free banners don't have the newest units. And again, same thing, uh, disadvantage of getting the three and a halfs and three star um, units. So again, just as a summary of Melody, she is a very unique user. Um, she is a wind staff or magic user. However, uh, one of her damaging moves is a blunt attack as well. Uh, the blunt is more of a support attack and it does damage AoE and it's damaged based on the user int, also buffs the team wind type attack plus 30, uh, crit damage plus 30, and depending on the number of different weapon types in the parity, up to six different types of course, you can get increased effectiveness of this boost. Now, her main DPS is a wind magic attack, which is a four times XL random single target attack, which is very similar to, for example, um, you know, some, uh, for example, um, AS Garyu, where it just targets randomly. However, this one also crit rate up of all party members, which is magic and physical for 40%. And uh, depending on the number of weapon types in the party, of course, uh, you know, can get the crit rate up to 100%. And of course, the damage also scales depending on the number of different weapon types in the party. One thing I won't, haven't mentioned yet is the VC is actually fairly useful as well. When she comes in, it restores all frontline and reserve party members uh, with a large or XL heal, depending whether or not you have to VC Grasta or uh, not. So that's very useful for healing. However, in terms of her overall use, uh, one thing I will feel is that the fact that you have to carry, in terms of getting the most effectiveness out of her, six different weapon types, that really uh, precludes her from being used specifically on a magic zone team. Because the reason is, on a magic zone team, most of the units will be all staff users. And so you'll essentially only really have one, two, or max three types of different weapons. Now, how she could shine is on a pure wind zone team, where of course wind attacks are boosted by 50%, and you can kind of mix and match the different types of um, weapon types. So for example, you can use a Felmina, for example, to help with that. You can use a Hammer user. Um, you can use your, your, your Claude, for example. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. So as long as you uh, can mix and match, you can really get uh, some use out of Melody. However, I will say that wind as an element is one of the more powerful ones already, and I'm not really sure 
if she would uh, find a slot on our wind team being that a lot of times you can have uh, very strong synergies with wind slash for example uh, wind pierce keep in mind that uh, es Sukiya will be coming in a short time with one of the updates and so you can have a lot of different wind type attacks and i'm not sure if melody will break the lineup in that sense However, I will say that um, she does have waifu status for a lot of people. And so, of course, if that's the case, go ahead and summon for her. In general, I would probably advise not to summon specifically for Melody unless you really want to collect every unit in the game. In which case, hey, this is our first banner of Melody. Go ahead and try for it, being that it is upgraded at this point in time. So uh, we've obviously talked about Melody. However, uh, we need to talk about AS Iska. Now I know she's almost like a you know like um uh, afterthought in terms of the banner. However, keep in mind that after manifest, she becomes a monster wind slash DPS. And keep in mind that can fit with uh, slash teams uh, wind, which of course we do have uh, AS Alulu having a wind slash zone, for example. Uh, she can fit on just wind teams. She has a, a very powerful debuff. Uh, coming after her manifest is uh, leveled up. Uh, not to mention, like I said, her DPS is quite strong as well. And so again, once I get that leveled up to level 10 with the manifest, I will um, definitely do a five-star review on her. So um, that being said, in terms of wanting AS Iska, if you feel that that is worth it for you to summon specifically to add AS Iska or Iska, you know, specifically in any form to your roster, then you can definitely consider this as a banner to go for. However, again, just like I said with Melody, we are competing in terms of the amount of stones we have with this particular banner versus upcoming banners, all of which are extremely powerful and may require the use of your other stones as well. So in conclusion, it's not that this banner is extremely bad. I mean, we do have AS Iskin with Manifest. Um, you do have a new unit that's interesting. But like I said, it's competing with the likes of AS Subame, uh, ES uh, Sukiya, of course, Nokoko, and the list goes on and on uh, in an upcoming few banners. So, um, you know, if you're strictly free to play and really want to add uh, strongest meta units out there, I would advise not to summon on this banner. If you're more of a collector or if you really just want uh, one or both uh, lovely ladies as your waifus to summon on, hey, then it's definitely worth it to summon. Uh, and, you know, if you're in between and not really sure, then let your heart decide uh, what's best for your account. So that being said, let me know in the comments below if you're planning to summon on this banner or if you're not. I know that some of you have already responded saying that you're not going to, whereas there are a few who are still going to chase uh, the new unit melody. As for myself, being that I of course already have AS Iska, I'm not going to be chasing AS uh, no, melody. Uh, I'll be saving my stones for a future banner. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.